Hello everybody, thank you very much for coming to see us uh, in this darkened, scary room. I want to talk very briefly about Twitter and uh, I want to talk about free speech. What I'm not going to talk about is Milo bloody Yiannopoulos. Um, Milo, Milo is evil. Milo is, is sociopathic, he is vain, shallow, sexually incontinent. And these are just a few of the reasons why I love him very, very much. But I'm not going to defend him because he doesn't need defending. One thing I will say, though, he really should not have been banned from Twitter. I want to, re to illustrate my point, I want to read you some examples of some tweets by the person who was effectively responsible for Milo's ban, Leslie Jones, the Ghostbusters actress. Lord have mercy, white people shit. OK, you white girls are starting to look alike like a motherfucker. I swear I went to high school with them two girls. Get the fuck out of here. A white boy is best DJ? WTF. Not being raped by white man? What part of this joke that wasn't true? Bitch, I want to tell you about yourself, but I'm going to let everybody else do it. I'm going to retweet your hate. Get her. Well, I don't know what you think of these particular tweets. Um, uh, some of them... Borderline racist, maybe. Should Leslie Jones be banned from Twitter? I don't think so. I don't think anyone should be banned from from Twitter. I think we're some, something we're sometimes inclined to forget when we talk about Twitter censorship and the, and the need for it is that there are already various functions available on Twitter to protect users. Um, for example, there is the block button. I've got probably as many people on my block list as I, I, as I have followers. And I've got 30,000 odd followers, so that gives you an indication. There's the mute button. Sometimes when I'm feeling polite, which is uncharacteristic, I know, but sometimes I, want to, I don't want to upset people who I find very, very boring. Um, I don't want them to know I've blocked them. So there's the, the mute button compromise. Rupert Myers, for example, does not know that I've, I've muted him. Um, uh, it is quite possible to be on Twitter and tweet about things which do not get you in a shitstorm. I sometimes get, you, you won't believe this, but I do, some people sometimes say horrid things to me on Twitter. Do I like it? Actually, I don't. If I could wave my magic wand, I would create a world where there was no horridness, where we were all nice to one another, where it was all peace and love. I would like to live in that world very much. That world does not exist. How long have we got? No, another minute. Another minute? Oh, phew, phew. Um, I'm always surprised at, at, at these events when I have to go back to basic principles like why free speech is a good thing. Free speech is not a sort of either-or situation. What you often hear people say is, I believe in free speech, but... There was no such thing as I believe in free speech, but... Either you do believe in free speech or you don't believe in free speech. When you start censoring what people say on Twitter, that is, that is not free speech. That is the opposite of free speech. Um, I hope we can talk about this more later on. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> George Orwell, if liberty means anything, it's the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. He said that in the in his, in his introduction to, unpublished incident, the introduction to Animal Farm. I totally agree with your point. The safe spaces are a nonsense. You should all read, by the way, Claire Fox's brilliant new book about, about Generation Snowflake. I, I see this with my children in, in schools. They get these professional anti-bullying people come to, come to lecture them. There's bloody good, good income, I imagine, being in the anti-bullying industry. Coming to schools and, and, and giving long lists of examples of all the celebrities who've been bullied at school. Tom Cruise was bullied at school. So if you're bullied at school, you could be the new Tom Cruise. <laughs> Fantastic. We've, we've reached the point where, where we sort of celebrate victimhood. Victimhood is, is a sort of, is the ultimate aim of a, lo a lot of children. They want to revel in their victimhood. The idea that safe spaces are, are, are helping the debate is just lunatic. Thanks. Yeah, you clap me, you clap. Come on. Thank you.